Hello, fellow bookkeepers. Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and also evergoldaccounting.com. And today on our boutique bookkeeping business series, we are going to be talking about finding your niche. So I do think it's important to find some sort of niche where you can truly specialize in the bookkeeping needs of a most likely a particular industry. Now, I kind of stumbled upon my niche because I was an Etsy seller and that kind of opened doors for me having knowledge about the back end of Etsy and therefore how to approach the bookkeeping for Etsy. And then over time that expanded as I got Etsy clients, their shops and businesses began to grow. They began to expand onto other e-commerce platforms. And then I learned some of those platforms for those clients. And that's how my niche kind of expanded into a more general e-commerce niche where I do bookkeeping for Etsy, Shopify, eBay, Amazon, Square, and a couple other things as well. So if you don't have a niche or you're just beginning to explore starting your bookkeeping business, explore your options, um, I do think that turning to your expertise, your background, your previous job experience, maybe even um, paying attention to what friends and relatives are saying who are business owners themselves and looking for opportunities that way. There are so many different industries out there um, of small business owners that need the expertise of a bookkeeper that knows their industry. Uh, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking real estate agents, dentists, construction workers, uh, churches. There are just so many different industries. Each industry has their own particular needs. For example, I have no idea what struggles um, a dentist office may have in regard to their bookkeeping and their financial statements. But maybe you do. Maybe you were a secretary in a dentist's office. Maybe you have a friend who is a dental high hygienist. Um, so many different scenarios present themselves. Now, initially, when you're trying to figure out what niche you might want to work with, I do think it's okay to get a little experience with a couple of different client types um, if that opportunity presents itself. But with the idea of finding one particular business type or industry that you would eventually like to just focus on. Now, at first, you just may not know. So it can help to uh, sample a couple of different client types and, and find what works best for you, where you find you have the uh, strongest skill set, maybe just the way um, that you do the bookkeeping, you enjoy the process. I don't know, so many different things. But eventually, I do think it makes sense to find a niche because that is going to allow you to better market yourself, market your services, um, and narrow down and specify what that ideal client is. If you're taking anybody who needs a bookkeeper, you're also gonna end up spinning your wheels a lot, learning new things, learning um, new systems, learning new rules. And it just makes sense in order to increase your efficiency to select an industry, select a niche that you like and run with it. So mine turned out to be e-commerce because I had an Etsy shop and I knew the behind the scenes. Um, you may have the behind the scenes of a retail stationery store or the behind the scenes of a personal trainer, whatever the case may be. Find your people, find your niche, find that ideal client, and then run with it. In the next video, we're actually going to be talking about some of the ways I initially found my clients and then ways I have continued to find clients um, over the years. So stay tuned for that next episode. 
I'd love to discuss this topic further in the comments. And as always, if this has been helpful or useful, I would really appreciate your like or your subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.